हेलो ऑल दिस इज़ पीयूस उम्मीद करता हूँ कि इस नए साल में आप सभी लोग नए जोश के साथ 2025 यूपीएससी की तैयारी शुरू कर दी होगी इस सेशन में प्रिसाइसली हम क्या बात करने वाले हैं इट्स अबाउट दैट स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर द यूपीएससी 2025। If we'll compare the last few years, in that case, there are certain changes that can be noticed. And what are these changes? You know, if we'll if we'll talk about the UPSC preparation as compared to the previous years, in that case, you can notice one thing: that now the things are becoming more vast and complicated. And that's the reason because of what you should change the way or the strategy of your preparation. if you believe that by following the same old trend you are going to score very good or you are going to be going to get through in this examination that's never going to happen so that's the reason because of what as per the new style the new pattern you need to change your strategies also so the strategies with respect to everything aapki strategy naye examination patterns ke hisab se honi chahiye naye dates ke hisab se honi chahiye to in sari cheezon ko correlate karke aapko apni cheezon ko frame karne ki zarurat hai apni strategies ko ek naya direction dene ki zarurat hai is session mein precisely hum wahi baat karne wale hain ki kis tarike se aap apni preparation ko ek nayi direction de sakte hain kai nayi tarike se strategize kar sakte hain this is what we are going to discuss so what exactly i'm trying to focus upon look earlier what happened when people were writing upsc like they had been starting their preparation somewhere in the month of <clears throat> may or june if they have, if they have been targeting the next year but then as i'm telling you that upsc is becoming uh, challenging year by year and that's the reason because of what you also need to dedicate more time to upsc preparation earlier what happened people had been doing the optional simultaneously general studies but then the way the complications are increasing i believe ki now you have to plan it properly and then only you should come for the preparation i believe that when it comes to the preparation in that case the first preference should be given to the optional paper why am i saying so that the first preference uh, should be given to the optional because optional does play very important role in your selection मैं एक छोटा सा एग्जाम्पल देके बताता हूँ कि अगर मान लीजिए आप जनरल स्टडीज में थाउजेंड में से 400 या 400 प्लस मार्क्स स्कोर करते हैं दैट इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी अ वेरी डिसेंट मार्क इफ समबडी स्कोरिंग अराउंड 420 दैट्स कंसिडर्ड टू बी अ वेरी डिसेंट मार्क एंड इफ यू आर क्रॉसिंग 400 सो ऑफ कोर्स यू आर लाइक यू नो जॉब इज कम्प्लीटेड बट ऑन द अदर हैंड यू कैन फाइंड दैट ऑप्शनल इज रेंजिंग अ लॉट in optional there are some people they are able to score just 200 on the other hand there are some people they are managing to score even 300 plus and those 100 marks really matters you can't take it lightly ki theek hai yaar main gs mein cover kar lunga ya fir main sa mein cover kar lunga ye sath kehna aasan hai but karna bahut mushkil hai because agar aap gs mein aap marks ko compare karenge acche students ki to aapko ek baat samajh mein aayegi ki wo range bada kam hai जीएस में आप 20 या 30 नंबर में सारे अच्छे स्टूडेंट्स जो है वो सिमट जाते हैं लेकिन ऑप्शनल में लाइक यू नो इट इज डिपेंडिंग ऑन वेरियस फैक्टर्स दैट वेदर यू आर एबल टू क्रॉस 300 और नॉट एंड दैट्स द रीजन बिकॉज ऑफ व्हाट आई बिलीव दैट यू शुड फोकस मोर ऑन द ऑप्शनल पेपर एंड दैट्स द रीजन बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू टू स्टार्ट योर ऑप्शनल प्रिपरेशन फ्रॉम द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी और फेब्रवरी ओनली because if you are starting your optional preparation from the month of january and february in that case what happens you know like you are getting some extra time to give shape to your optional preparation let's say you started your optional in the month of january and in coming four four or four and a half or five months you are done with your optional preparation so if you are done with the uh, with your optional preparation by the month of may or let's say june in that case you are getting so much extra time to give a new direction to your preparation such as like if you are done with a like in a course in that case you can go for multiple revisions and as i am telling you that in optional there are possibilities that you are crossing 300 but then if you believe that just you have gone through the content once and you are going to cross 300 that is never going to happen अगर आपको बाकी 300 क्रॉस करना है तो आपको सबसे पहले ऑप्शनल को खत्म करना पड़ेगा और ऑप्शनल को खत्म करने के साथ द मल्टीपल रिवीजन इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट यू हैव टू गो दैट इज वन वे ऑफ लाइक नो स्कोरिंग वेरी गुड बट देन आफ्टर दिस मल्टीपल रिवीजन व्हाट नेक्स्ट शुड बी डन सो द नेक्स्ट आई गेस लाइक यू नो इज द राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस 
Now, when you have been doing this writing practice, because writing is very important, once again, I'm telling you, why? Because ultimately, what do you know that's not very important? What do you write that is the most important thing? And in the examination hall, in that kind of, you know, uh, uh, environment of pressure, how do you frame your answer? Whether you are able to recollect, recollect, uh, collect the information, and then whether you are able to produce those kind of things in your answer or not, that's very important. And that may happen only with a regular practice, right, and the regular revision of the syllabus. अगर आप optional बहुत late करते हैं, तो उस case में आपको कभी ऐसा मौका नहीं मिल पाता है, जहाँ पे आप बाकी बहुत अच्छा वक्त देके आप अपने optional को बार-बार revise कर सके, बार-बार उसको answer writing के through practice कर सके, that's very important. And this is there is there is an another thing which is very important that if you have been <coughs> You know, if you have been doing all these kind of things, in that case, you are also getting the chance to do some value additions. When you, whenever you cover your syllabus in just four months or five months, there are certain things which are always skipped, whether they are required. And in fact, I'm telling you that if you're finishing your syllabus in a very short span of period, so in that case, naturally, there are some topics missed by you. So, when you give optional, you can't ignore any dimensions or any topics because the question is very different from the dimensions and the factor is also a very big factor that in which way you have the short length answers or questions which is why they are having more opportunities, more possibilities of framing the questions and that's how from the various aspects of the syllabus the questions are being formed. पहले की तरह नहीं है जैसे सपोज लाइक यू नो वी कैन टेक द एग्जांपल ऑफ हिस्ट्री हिस्ट्री में क्या होता था कि पहले बड़े क्वेश्चंस पूछे जाते थे तो जब बड़े क्वेश्चंस पूछे जाते थे तो उनके पास लेस पॉसिबिलिटीज होती थी क्वेश्चंस फ्रेम करने की अब जब इन लोगों ने छोटे क्वेश्चंस पूछने शुरू किए तो उनके पास पॉसिबिलिटीज बढ़ गई है तो जब आप उन्होंने छोटे क्वेश्चंस फ्रेम करना शुरू किया है इसका इसका सीधा सीधा मतलब ये है कि उन लोगों ने उन बहुत सारे नैरो डायमेंशंस पे भी क्वेश्चन फ्रेम करना शुरू किया है और उन नैरो डायमेंशंस को कवर करने के लिए फिर आप, आप, आपको थोड़े सिलेबस की बेहतर कवरेज बहुत जरूरी है so that's the reason because of what if you're done with your optional paper in very early stage in that case you are getting this chance to enhance or let's say to a, uh, to to have a better idea of the syllabus and the value additions that's the reason because of what i have been suggesting the beginning of the preparation of two the, for 2025 like from the month of january only so that's the reason like you know you should start that's the reason i'm suggesting you to start your preparation from the month of january and probably this is the reason because of what we have come up with our course in the month of January itself. The reason is very simple because we are also strategizing, strategizing the preparation with the same perspective. And when it comes to our optional course, what we are going to start in the month of January, like you know, the same ideas are here. If you'll see our course in that case, which is like, you know, uh, basically including some of the very specific features. And we are just going to discuss about those specific features, what our course is having in this particular session. So if you really follow this particular strategy in that case, I think our course is somehow very relevant to that. So let's say that what are the special offerings from our side, specifically, specifically when it comes to the history optional course. Let's see a couple of them. If you'll see our course in that case, like there are a couple of dimensions on what we focus more. And among them, the first is the mapping area. Look, if you want to score very good in paper one, in that case, mapping is a very important component. But then it is also true that if we'll see the questions of last few years in that case, the regular experiments with the mapping question is a reality. हर साल आपको मैपिंग के साथ कुछ ना कुछ कुछ ना कुछ एक्सपेरिमेंट्स मिलेंगे आप पिछले चार साल के क्वेश्चंस उठा के देख लीजिए लगातार एक्सपेरिमेंट्स मिलेंगे आपको सो उस लगातार एक्सपेरिमेंट को कोप अप करने के लिए आपकी प्रिपरेशन उस डायरेक्शन में होनी चाहिए एंड देयर यू कैन नॉट फॉलो द पैटर्न वट दे हैव फॉलो डर्लियर बट यू हैव टू ऑल्सो एंटिसिपेट दैट वट आर द न्यू पॉसिबिलिटीज फॉर द क्वेश्चन and in fact here not as i'm suggesting you ki not only the questions of the previous year but certain anticipations are going to help you and that's how our focus is more on the mapping section the second thing as i had been emphasizing on the answer writing that's again a very important part <clears throat> answer writing is not only making you learn about the way you frame the answer the way you write the answer but at the same time it is helping you to go for the value addition the way i was telling you that two answers you have been learning so many things and just imagine that if you have done this answer writing practice or if you have finished your answer writing practice by the month of December only, in that case, like, you know, from December to May, you will be getting the time for your pre-preparation. And after the pre, 
as after the pre you are not really required to go for an extensive writing practice because that period of 3 month is very crucial because in those 3 months you have to do your optional you have to do your general studies you have to also focus on ethics and essay paper aap soche ki us 3 mahine ke duration mein aapka kaam kitna badh jata hai ki us chote se period mein aapko ye sari cheeze karni hoti hai but just imagine ki agar aapne december tak aapne apne optional writing ko bhi khatam kar liya to the only thing is left that is revision so during those 3 months you can go only for the revision and in fact like you know you can focus more on general studies and essay which are also very crucial so that's the reason because of what we focus a lot in this particular period on answer writing and there will be extensive practice uh, like for answer writing will be doing and the third thing i'll say that is the mentorship that's very important once again why the mentorship is so important because through the content only you cannot cover everything and as i told you that if you have been really trying to cover or if somebody is really covering the content just within 4 4 and 1/2 months in that case what is going to happen like th- there are certain parts which are skipped but then you can connect these two and you can understand ki through this answer writing and the mentorship we can actually like fill those gaps which are there jo cheeze chhoot gayi hum usko is beech mein cover kar sakte hain theek hai so this wajah se main kahunga ki jo hai ye mentorship aur answer writing do aisi cheeze hain jo bahut important hai aur mujhe lagta hai ki us pe kafi focus karne ki zarurat hai well apart from this we can talk about some other things uh, like which are the specifications of our course that we can talk about the four step pmod framework and i'm telling you that if you're not following this particular framework in that case it is going to be impossible for you to cross 300 because it is very easy to imagine that i'll be scoring more than 300 and in fact all those people coming to the preparation they always believe in optional i'll be definitely crossing 300 sochne mein koi burai bhi nahi hai aur shayad 300 cross karna impossible bhi nahi hai of course it can be done but if you think it just by covering the syllabus in 4 4 and 1/2 month and you are thinking ki, yes i am now going to cross 300 that is not going to happen agar aapko lagta hai ki bas 4 4 4 mahine mein maine wo pad liya aur uske baad mera score 300 plus aa jayega so that is definitely not going to happen so that's the reason we have been following a different framework which is called as four step pmod framework and what is this framework that you have to come to understand <clears throat> okay apart from that like you know we have divided it in multiple modules specifically four uh, modules are there and in fact we cover the syllabus in such a way that you are having an extensive understanding now this is one thing which is very important because if you do not have the understanding in that case you cannot cope up or you cannot like you know write the answer of those questions which are basically the bouncers अब ये पूछेंगे बाउंसर्स क्या है देखिए सिलेबस जब भी हम कवर करते हैं तो सिलेबस कवर करने के बाद ऐसा कुछ ऐसे बहुत सारे डायमेंशंस होते हैं जिसको हम सही से कई बार समझ नहीं पाते हैं और उसके आंसर्स नहीं लिख पाते हैं और ऐसे क्वेश्चंस आते रहेंगे अगर आप ऐसे क्वेश्चंस के साथ डील करना चाहते हैं तो क्वेश्चन सब्जेक्ट की एक बहुत कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव जो है अंडरस्टैंडिंग होनी चाहिए और वो कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव अंडरस्टैंडिंग अगर नहीं है तो फिर बहुत सारी प्रॉब्लम्स होगी एंड दैट्स द रीजन बिकॉज ऑफ वट वी फोकस ए लॉट ऑन द अंडरस्टैंडिंग पार्ट then the third thing i'll say is the about the previous year question now this is very popular thing that in upsc in history optional uh, what happens ki if you have seen the previous year question in that case you'll be able to score very good the point is that like you know let's say you have seen the previous year question but then if you do not have the right content of those previous year questions in that case you won't be able to produce a very good result bahut sare market mein answers available hai but then try to figure it out whether they are really giving you a very qualitative answer and i can definitely say no that are those answers are not very qualitative and that's how according to your preparation you need to frame the answer of those questions and that's how we focus a lo- lot on the previous year questions and their quality answers that's in a very important part and this is one thing which is like you know highlighted by us while you know covering the course and then unlimited mentorship as i have told you that until and unless you comprehend the subjects uh, there is no benefit of it and as i told you that we have been focusing a lot on that part so that is that's the reason because of what we can say this is also one important thing that we have been doing apart from that there are some more important key features of this particular course that i would like to highlight so first is the source based writing now what is this source based writing the source based writing is basically uh basically one of the one of the basic nuances of history 
history is such a subject which should be always correlated with the sources and specifically in paper 1 and if you are not able to correlate your answers or include the sources in your answer in that case you are not, not, not doing justice with the answers and that's how we emphasize on, so, um, emphasize on sources a lot specifically in paper 1. The second important thing is the historiography. Now it's again very important. And in fact, specifically when it comes to historiography and the third one that's called as key debates, there also you have to understand some of the basic transformations which are coming in the subject. There are certain historiography you can find in the books, right? But then you have to also understand ki whether these historiographies were really applicable, whether these historiographies or these historians are really marks fetching or not, that's also very important. But then unfortunately what happens like when you study history you do not focus on the historiography that like you know the whereas schools of historiography which one is more relevant in the current times you do not understand these kind these kind of things you just collect the information and you write it but only by collecting information you cannot write this information rather you have to understand ki what sort of historiography must be presented and if you are not focusing on the uh, like, you know uh, on the school of historiography in that case it's going to be a bit tough to uh, uh, tough for you to score very good and that's how don't focus only on the names that you have been collecting rather you feel like rather you focus on the nature of like you know the historiography that you have been writing that that is an another two important dimensions which are being focused a lot by us and in fact we not only try to like you know uh, try, try to give you the content related to that but then we always try to build the frame or build the basics of these historiography and the debates among you that's also one important feature Apart from that, we always try to cover the syllabus in a limited uh, period of time. So we normally take five months to cover the syllabus and within those five months, we are almost done with most of the basic aspects, basic aspects and then answer writing, rigorous answer writing, what like, you know, we, we have included here, the regular class test, as I have told you that what is the significance of writing and that's a, apart from a normal test series, like we are also offering a sort of regular class test. Why? Because that is somehow building the confidence among you. Aap jab लगातार लिखते हैं तो उससे कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्डअप होता है आप जब लगातार नहीं लिखते हैं तो उससे कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्डअप कभी नहीं होगा क्योंकि आप आंसर लिखना एक ऐसी चीज है जो हमेशा आपको डराती है आपको हमेशा लगता है कि आई स्टार्ट राइटिंग द आंसर ओनली फ्रॉम दैट डे व्हेन आई एम इन अ कंफर्टेबल पोजीशन but frankly te telling you there is no such situation where you actually feel that you are in a very comfortable comfortable situation and that's why we, in class we nurture this particular habit of writing the answers and i always used to say to the student write what sort of answer you can write kuda likhna hai kuda likhe aap bilkul bekar answer likhe but from that bekar answer to a good answer is a journey and we help you to cover that journey and in through which you are ultimately writing a very good answer in the examination so that's the reason because of what regular class test and in fact the way we have the discussion we evaluate the scripts we have been doing all such kind of things in 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 a very regular way so that's ultimately going to bring the real confidence for answer writing and even in the examination hall because normally what happens whenever you go for the other go to other places normally the very basic or the simple questions are given for answer writing when the questions are very simple you are able to write the answers and you believe that you have like you know all those qualities of writing the answers but then the moment you get into the examination hall the questions are are mostly being asked which are very tough which are like sort of bouncers so i always try to you know try to teach you try to train you in this way that if these question kind of questions are coming so how to frame the question first how to comprehend the question and then how to frame the question and how to get the relevant content of those kind of questions from the information that you have, that you have collected so it's it's basically an art that you have to build up and that's how we focus a lot in this part and then there is an another thing that's called as micro diagram now what is this micro diagram that is the easiest easiest way of presenting the ideas that is the way that is a that is a way to present the answer or the content in such a way that you are taking lesser time and you are conveying very good ideas but then this, this does not mean you have been making anything when it comes to the making diagrams there you have to keep in mind that the diagram should be as such that from the diagram itself you have been conveying so many ideas so that is not only saving your time but also it is making your presentation very lucrative and very interesting and that's the reason because of what this micro diagrams are very important as you all know that in examination we have to write so many answers in the limited three hours and that's why the 
uh, like you know these micro diagrams and the charts and the bars these can literally give a new dimension to your answers and that's why while doing the course itself we focus a lot on that right so these are some of the important core features uh, and in fact when it comes to uh, you know history we try to cover the syllabus in such a way which is helping you even in the other areas also of course when you are covering history and then the students are asking this question ki jab hum history cover kar rahe to kya humko gs ke classes mein bhi alag se jaake cover karna hai aur ye bada challenging question hai to kyun kyunki nature dono ka thoda alag hai agar aapko lagta hai ki jo hai same history aap optional mein jo pad liya wahi history aap general studies mein bhi jaake padhenge ya wahi history jo hai jaake likhenge to usse marks aa jayega i think this is a confusion so basically a new or a different kind of twist that you have to give you have to understand the requirements in general studies and you have to understand the requirements in optional so these are two different things so what we do we always try to keep that difference while covering the syllabus and i used to tell the students ki look like if you have been writing in this way answer in this way in that case it is more or less a gs answer if you have been writing the answer in this way in that case it is like you know a more or less more, more or less it is the way of answer writing in the optional so basically in that particular content itself we try to shortlist or segregate the general studies perspective and the optional perspective that is definitely help you that that is definitely helping you even in your general studies preparation so you can actually save some time from the gs preparation if you prepare in the, in this way apart from this like you know uh, the i the way i cover the syllabus which is very helpful in the ethics and the essay paper also always uh, like you know in every year every year you can find certain questions are being asked from the like you know historical perspective or in fact like you know if you have been writing the answers uh, in essay and sometimes even in ethics also they are having much overlapping with history so what such as like let's let's take, uh, take an example so suppose when we have been covering gandhi so there are certain such dimensions of gandhi which may not be asked in the optional but i know that it is having great utility in ethics and the essay paper in that case i try to focus on that also why because ultimately if you have been getting these ideas from here so the un undoubtedly you are getting to push some marks even in essay and the uh, ethics paper also and that's why we always such as like you know such as we have been giving the uh, we have been doing the gandhian philosophy so while doing the gandhian philosophy i know that this particular the dimension cannot be asked in the uh, optional paper but then i know that if like you know this information is there with you in that case it is definitely going to help you in essay and ethics paper and that's why I desperately include them so like it's quite helpful even in these parts also and apart from that those who have joined the online like you know classes online for them like we are regularly conducting the zoom session and through this zoom sessions we try to resolve the doubts queries or the questions of the students so that's how we just try to help uh so the students from multiple perspective multiple dimensions and that's how we just try to facilitate the students that they do they should not face any problem while preparing with this history optional so that is how we have planned it and i believe that this is an one stop solution for you and that's why you should definitely come and join thank you